Hey there, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nick Foy, the founder of AskNickFoy.com and welcome to this Aveda tutorial series where I'm gonna be sharing different tips related to the Aveda WordPress theme. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and dive into today's tutorial that I've got for you. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to edit your footer area of your website. So if we scroll down here to the bottom of this web page, the footer section is generally right here. It's a dark area. Sometimes it's a different color, but in this case, it starts off with the natural um, dark as the settings. Uh, so your web page is all this space, and then after your web page ends, the footer begins, and then after the footer is usually a copyright bar section where you've got you know your copyright information and different links to different legal pages that you want on your website so right now I've got no content down here in the footer it's just this little gap of space here but as we add different widgets you know it can increase the height so the footer could be all the way up to here you know a lot taller than it is right now it just depends on what kind of content you put in your footer so let's go back in here to our WordPress dashboard and the Aveda theme, so you can come under the Aveda menu settings to theme options. Once the theme options page opens up, you wanna scroll down here to where it says footer in the settings, click on that, click on footer content, and here's where you can customize the settings first of your footer, and then next we'll add content to the footer area. So if you want your footer area on, you can turn it on, you can turn it off, you can choose how many columns you want, so in this case we could do four columns, and what that means is, you know, there will be one column here, one column here, here, and here. It'll break it up into four separate columns. So we can put different things in each column. And then we can decide if we want to center the content in the footer widgets. So right now I've got that set to off. And then if you want any special effects for your footer, so it's naturally checked to none. But if you want to make it, you know, a parallax effect, or a different background image or make it a sticky footer, you can do different things with that. And then to, set, to edit the copyright bar just below the footer, there's the little copyright section as well. All right, so that's the settings of the footer. Now to actually edit the content in the footer, you're gonna need to scroll down your WordPress dashboard to where it says appearance, go to widgets, and when that opens up, you're going to find the four different footer widgets since we set our columns to four here in the settings. So right here we've got our blog sidebar, all the different widgets we want in the sidebar, and then the footer. So widget one, two, three, and four. And you can go ahead and start looking over here at the available widgets, all of these different widgets that came with the Aveda theme, as well as ones that came with WordPress. So a lot of times the one I use is the text widget. You can also use a video widget uh, if you want you know, different comments or recent posts, a search bar. So they've got lots of different widgets there that you can drag and drop up here into this little section and customize them. And then hit save. When you refresh the page out here, your footer widgets that you just added will now start showing up in the footer section. So that's the quick tutorial of how to edit and add content to the footer, as well as how to go into the Aveda theme options, which we did up here under Aveda, down to theme options, and you can go in and customize your footer settings if you decide that you only want three columns or a two column footer, or maybe you want five columns, and then you can customize the background of your footer as well in those Aveda theme option settings.